Good evening, folks. Odd here with your Outer World News. Current time is 5.37 p.m., April 4th, 2013. All right, here we go, folks. Got a lot to go over with you guys today, so bear with me. We have uh, 24 reports of fireballs over the past uh, two nights. Reports still coming in. Must have been something big. Arizona, Kansas, you know, New Mexico, California, or Colorado, you know, more Arizona, New Jersey, New York, Maryland. You know, if you guys want to go ahead and check into that, you know, more fireball reports. All right, on the World War III news, um, Mecha Electric has a really good piece talking about North Korea ready to strike. He has some good information if you guys want to go ahead and look into that video. Very good stuff there. Um, also, uh, two North Korean submarines have disappeared. Yep, two North Korean submarines have disappeared. So, you know, she's saying that, or that, like, a lot of people have been talking about this and saying, you know, South Korea is supposed to be watching them, and two of them slipped out. Where they are... No one knows. So I have a little bit of a piece that I did that I'm going to show you guys here that it shows exactly how long it will take for their submarines to reach the West Coast and to reach Washington, D.C. Okay. So here you go. 6,200 miles at 29 miles per hour, you know, equals 213.79 hours. So what does that equal? At 29 miles per hour equals 8 days, 21 hours, 47 minutes, and 40 seconds to reach the U.S. West Coast when they went missing last Friday, which means if they are heading this way, they will be here on the West Coast the 7th to the 8th of April. Now, if they were heading to D.C., estimate 9,000 miles at 29 miles per hour equals 310.34 hours. Okay, so... The estimated time, or to estimate for them to get to D.C. is 12 days, 21 hours, and 22 minutes, which could be late April 10th to the 11th. Now, if you guys remember, you know, little Kim is sitting there saying that he wants every South Korean out of North Korea by April 10th. So, could this be it for D.C.? I guess we'll see. I did all that math for you guys, you know, just to find out what days they could be arriving at. I'll leave that, too, at the bottom. Um, here we go. Also, any other uh, North Korean World War III news, I'm going to go ahead and leave here. Everybody knows China's starting to get scared. You know, Russia's running drills. China's running drills. You know, just all kinds of chaos fear developing around the world. Okay, and here we go. Um, Bluster missile launch feared. Here we go. It says, as tensions mount on the Korean Peninsula, Wolf Blitzer explains what's behind the threats and what's at stake on a special edition of the Situation Room tonight at 6. 6 p.m. Eastern on CNN, if you guys want to check that out. All right, here we go. Missile and launch components have been moved to the east coast of North Korea in the last few days. A U.S. official with direct knowledge of the information told CNN Thursday. You know, is this going to be a false flag? <laughs> I, I really don't know. Here we go. North Korea missiles don't target U.S. as Washington shows military buildup. Yeah, because the submarines are going to nuke the mainland, so is their little satellite. And then they're going to destroy everything around them, so they don't have to worry about no more threats. All right, here we go. South Korea defense minister announced that North Korea ballistic missiles are not targeting mainland U.S. territory as the American showcase of power in the South provokes Pyongyang to resort to a last-ditch nuclear argument. You know, this is what I think is going to happen. You know, they have two submarines that are out right now. Okay, and then they have this. You know, I'm going to leave a link to this. I got this off Dabu 7's channel because he's been tracking the satellite as well. You guys can track it as it, it also. This uh, satellite is the satellite from North Korea. Okay, that nobody knows what's on it. And nobody knows what it's for. You know, there's been talks of a possible EMP blast on the U.S., could this thing be carrying an EMP? You know, or a nuclear device that they're planning to explode over the U.S.? You know, it's an electromagnetic pulse. It will fry our electrical grids and all that other good stuff. You know, so definitely keep an eye on that. And two submarines, nuclear-capable submarines coming in, too. You know, is their plan to EMP us so we have no communication with our troops, then nuke the mainland, <clears throat> and also nuke the military bases around South Korea, Hawaii, Guam, completely eradicate the United States and knock them out of the picture in the blink of an eye. 
You know, they ain't playing games. That's what, you know, I'm getting a little worried about this because whatever Pingyong Yang has up his sleeve, it must be extremely, extremely devastating to to even imagine if he's not scared of our, our military might. All right, here we go. Um, Robert Ebert, renowned film critic, dies at the age of 70. You know, sad news. I hate to see you when anybody dies. And it says, the last 10 in the two thumbs up film critic. Uh, team Robert Ebert died Thursday, two days after revealing cancer returned to his body. Rest in peace. You know, I just hate seeing anybody anybody die. So there you go. That's entertainment news. And here we go. New bird flu strain. Genuine threat or fear mongering. Here we go. This is in China. Another person died too, by the way. It says China, ja Japan, and Vietnam are on alert not to let the deadly new bird flu strain spread. The last decade has, however, shown the information about a virus has always spread much faster than the virus itself. The new strain of bird flu labeled H7N9 has already claimed five lives. So there you go, folks. That's, that's on bird flu news in Asia. Now, bird flu news in Mexico. Mexico declares emergency over new bird flu outbreak. Remember, Mexico is right there on our borders. So here we go. Mexican government has declared a national animal health emergency to in the wake of a new outbreak of bird flu that has affected some 1.7 million fowl leaving around 870,000 dead. We have activated a national animal health emergency with the goal of um, what is that? Diagnosing, sorry, excuse me, just brain fried, so much going on. Diagnosing, preventing, controlling, and eradicating the type A subtype H7N3 bird flu virus, the country's agricultural ministry said. There you go, more bird flu, you know, there's pandemic spreading, you know, Asia and Mexico. You know, we're right on the border, so why isn't, why aren't they really telling us about it, you know, in the U.S. that, oh, it could possibly be here now. I don't know. You know, for all we know, that could have been the virus that uh, ended up missing from, you know, that Texas laboratory. All right, here we go. Bank closing after damage by Georgetown sinkhole. Yep, sinkhole news. Uh, Georgetown, South Carolina. Georgetown Bank damaged. Excuse me on that. I don't know why all this stuff keeps popping up. All right, here you go. Georgetown Bank damaged by a sinkhole almost a year and a half ago is closing its doors. The Sun News of Myrtle Beach reports the Bank of America branch was damaged by a sinkhole in November 2011, but it's supposedly, I guess, the sinkhole is spreading. Like always, I will leave links so you guys can check it out. On to space weather. Uh, still, the um, neutron monitor is under repair. As you can see, they are still hiding stuff. You know, the bubbles are in different spots this time, so it's working, but they just don't want us to see what's really going on. So there you go. Um, cosmic ray density, as you see here, you know, spiked up, went down, as they're showing here. It looks like it's going down, but it doesn't look like it from the background. You know, just, just nonsense. I don't even know why they're going to try to even cover this up. All right, here we go. On to Helio Viewer. Sunspot coming into view. Another sunspot here. Up here and down here, big coronal hole stream down here. It's already starting to affect Earth, so pay attention to the earthquake watch for the next couple of days. You know, major earthquake watch, okay, folks? Definitely, t you know, take heed to that. Space weather uh, also talks about, you know, Venus and Mars coverage, you know, where they're at right now. You know, if you guys want to check into that. Also, the weekend auroras, a solar windstorm is expected to brush against Earth's magnetic field on April 6th and 7th, possibly causing geomagnetic disturbances. So, geomagnetic storm watch also. You know, just, you know, keep your eyes to the sky and all that good stuff. Um, also, I'm going to have one of the funny videos at the bottom for you guys, like always. Just so much going on right now. I'm just so focused worrying about this, uh, about the earthquake watch and World War Three news. All right, so here we go. We had a 4.0 right outside of South Southern California. We had another 2.9 right around Oklahoma last night. You know, just just craziness. Also, last night we had 4.6, 4.7, 4.7 in South America. Also, over here where the cosmic ray burst hit, we're still seeing a huge uptick in earthquake activity. We had a 5.0, 5.5, 4.6, 5.3, a 5.7. 
4.7 to 5.4, 4.3, 4.1, another 5-pointer off the coast of Japan, two 5-pointers, I'm sorry, off the coast of Japan, 4.6 and a 4.5. So there you go, folks. That is earthquake news, like always. Sports news will be at the bottom. All links that I have provided will also be at the bottom. You know, just uh, stay safe, you know, get prepared. Get food, water, guns, ammo, you know, find yourself a safe place because stuff's about to get real. All right, folks, much love from Odd, and may God bless you all.